What if I told you that a childhood game holds the keys for you to achieve everything that you wanted in life? In this video, I'm gonna explain what that game is and I'm gonna show you a new version that you can start playing today that's gonna change your thinking, change your habits, and actually change your life and share your success. So stay tuned. All right, welcome back, Market Disruptors. So I am picking up another video off of the two that we had done previously because I had so many questions and comments and we're talking about cash flow. Instead of playing the old game, the game that's been taught to us, we talked about a new game, we talked about new rules and a new way to win the game. I wanna just bring one more video back and talk to you a little, bit about, a little bit more about that because it's super, super important to me and I got a lot of really good feedback from you guys. Just a real quick recap on that. Uh, we talked about cash flow, we talked about instead of, instead of just saving for your your whole life instead of saving for retirement at the end of your life instead of the rich trap where as you make more money your expenses go up we talked about keeping expenses really low that's the game keeping expenses really low so that you can save money and you can invest that money um, into cash flow and then the game is to get cash flow to raise up to your expenses and then once you can get your cash flow to exceed your expenses you've won the game of life you no longer have to work for money and you can do whatever you want after that so that was the game that we introduced that's the new game that I think that you should play it's the game I play it's simple once you see that finish line it's a lot easier to hit that but I got a lot of questions that were related to exactly how to play it and even uh, like what types of cash flow that you should be getting or looking for, etc. I have a game that we've all played when we were kids, and I have it, I play it with my kids. It's the game of Monopoly, right? We all had that game uh, when we were kids, and so it's funny because maybe we've known the answers all along, but the school system gets us so mixed up, we don't even know what we're doing anymore. Not just a game, it holds the keys. If you've played Monopoly, you know what I'm talking about. Basically, you buy a greenhouse, you buy a couple greenhouses, you get a red hotel, right? That's the game of Monopoly. That's how you win the game of Monopoly. And like I said, that's the way that you win life as well. And Monopoly is really, it's a game of cash flow. So you buy the greenhouses and you buy the red hotels for cash flow. One greenhouse gets you $10 a month. Two greenhouses get you $20 a month. What we want to do in life is we want to build houses and we want to get hotels that bring us cash flow. It's the same thing. We want more cash flow so that we can work less. Ultimately, what we all want is we want freedom. We want to be free from the rat race. We don't want to have to work for money. Now, my goal is not to retire. My goal is to not have to work anymore. It's a big difference. My residual income, my cash flow meets or exceeds my monthly expenses. I no longer have to work for money every month. Now, then I can do whatever work I want because I like to do it, because I find value to it, because it brings me joy or whatever it may be. The most powerful things in life are simple but not easy. So it's different, okay? So what most people want out of life is they want things to be super hard, like, like this, this secret. If I could only find the secret, then everything would be easy. But the truth is, most things in life are actually very simple yet hard to do. Take losing weight, for example. There's, there's a million different diets and weight loss products and supplements and exercise gear and all these things to lose weight. I can wear this Fitbit and it can track my sleep and it can track my diet and I can wear these brand new Nikes and I can do this crazy workout system and I can have this crazy diet and I can do all these things. But really, it's pretty simple. Just eat less, exercise, that's it. It's simple and so is the game of life. It's actually pretty simple. Keep your expenses low, take that extra money, buy cash flow with it. Once the cash flow meets or exceeds your expenses, you've won the game of life. The benefits of playing that game is like I said, it's financial freedom. I mean, it's simple, right? So you can start to do the things that you wanna do, but there's so many other benefits. Um, you know, one, it's fun. I think just like playing the game of Monopoly, once you understand the game and you start understanding how to win it and you can start tracking towards winning, now you can be like, hey, I'm winning the game, I'm losing the game, so it's fun. Uh, we all know that cash flow is king, so we know that by building that cash flow up, we're getting ahead. And really, like I said before, like the freedom, right? It, it, it frees us from all the worrying about having to make money anymore. I mean, it's just, it's just so powerful, I can't understate that. Also, it's kind of disaster proof. So I know a lot of people think that uh, having a good education, having a good job is, is security but it's not. People get laid off all the time. And what happens is you've worked at that job so long, maybe that's really all you know, and then all of a sudden you get laid off and now what security do you have? You have none. Nothing, nothing. 
And so cash flow gives you that security. Cash flow has gets that income coming in. And no matter what happens, you've disaster proofed your life, you're set. It also protects you from booms and busts. So like, for example, in 2008, when the markets crashed, if you were retired during that time, a lot of people had to go back to work after that because they lost so much money in their 401ks and their mutual funds and so forth that they had to go back to work. But if you owned cash flow, it still produced cash flow. I was in real estate at the time. We've talked about that a lot. And I saw that rents actually went up because as more people lost their houses, they had to go go start renting. And so it works in booms and busts. When, it, when the market booms, the, the assets go up in value. I talk a lot about the economy. We, we know that you know the government debt is at an all-time high, 22 trillion. We know global debt to over 300 trillion. Uh, we know that inflation is here. We see prices going up super, super fast. And so when you own assets, well, guess what? They go up. And, and if hyperinflation happens, they hyperinflate. So you're protected against booms and busts. Your single biggest expense is taxes. When you when you own cash flow assets, cash flow real estate, other types of cash flow. Um, you get taxed at a different rate. You're even making more money by saving money there. And it's not just real estate. So a lot of people ask, you know, what else can I do besides real estate? So it's not just real estate. So I use that game as an example. I use the monopoly game as an example, but um, there's all types of cash flow that you can do. Um, other types of cash flow would be like uh, stocks that pay dividends. So there's dividend paying stock. There's interest that you can get paid on bonds. Um, oil, there's royalties that you can get on intellectual property, things like that. The thing that I also like about, about um, real estate is it protects you from the downside. So a lot of times with other investments like those stocks, for example, you're in those 401ks, you're in those mutual funds. When the market crashes, when disaster happens, you, it goes down, you lose everything. But with real estate, you have insurance. So if you had a catastrophic loss, a flood, a fire, something like that, you have insurance that pays for that. But you can't insure your 401k, you can't insure your mutual fund, so that's a problem. There's one thing that I wanna leave you with here at the end. There's a new game that I've been playing recently with my kids and we play it one time a month. The name of the game is Cash Flow exactly what I'm talking about. It's a game called Cash Flow. I'm not an affiliate for it. I don't make any money selling it. I don't have a link for you to click on, but you can go to richdad.com and you can find the game Cash Flow. And I highly recommend it, not just for your kids, but for you, for anybody. It's actually a little bit, a um, little bit kind of complicated, um, but my kids are starting to get it. But if you've ever played the game of life, it's a lot more like the game of life, but it's super detailed. You learn how to accumulate cash flow, keep your expenses low. And I would highly recommend any of you guys watching this to go buy the game, play it one time a month, and let it change your thinking, let it change your habits. Play it one time a month for a year, I guarantee it's gonna change your life. I'd love to hear if you guys do that. If you go buy the game and you play it, leave me comments down below if you have any questions about it, and uh, ask them as well. If you like this video, give me some thumbs up. I definitely need your thumbs up, and if you don't like it for whatever reason, give me some thumbs down. Either way, that's fine. Hopefully you find success. Now that you have the goal, you know where to go get it. That's it, to your success, I'm out.